Hey guys, welcome back to the Outdoor Outpost. I'm Cody, and today we're going to be going over how to tie leaders. We're going to be using a size 7 barrel swivel tied on with an improved clinch knot, a bullet weight tied on with a bobber stopper knot, that way you guys can stop spending money, and then a size 3 aught offset hook tied on with a palmer knot. So I'm super excited about this guys. I hope you are too. Let's get into the video. All right guys, let's jump into this. Sorry about the half face thing here, but it's the best way for me to give you a good, a good picture here of what I'm doing. All right, so we have 15 pound fluorocarbon here. This is just spider wire. It's so far working out really well. So let's measure this out. Rule of thumb and the way I was taught, okay, is that you want your line to be about half the length of your pole from the tip to the reel. The reason why you do this is so that you can still cast without pulling your barrel swivel into your guides. Okay? So let's, I'm going to guesstimate here, hmm, that looks about right. 16 to 18 inches is usually what you can get away with on this. So let's do, let's clip that off. And then let's get this ready to go. We're going to be using a 2 aught offset hook, size seven bar a barrel swivel, swivel, and an eighth ounce bullet weight. We're not using stoppers, guys, because I'm gonna teach you how to do a, a barber stopper knot. Bobber stopper knot, there we go. And save you guys a lot of money, all right? So, let's do this. All right, guys, how we're gonna be tying the knot onto the leader is by doing a polymer knot. So we're going to run it through the hook, Okay, we're gonna run it back to the hook, all right? And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that these lines are parallel, that they're not twisted, and that's gonna help the strength of your knot, okay? So make sure that you have a lot of end on this end, because this end is gonna have the hook pass through it a minute. So we're gonna do this, we're going to do just a simple overhand knot. So, there we go. There we go. Run the finger through, that way the knot doesn't tighten down. All right. And then we're just gonna pass the hook through it. Just like that, all right guys? Once that happens, you're gonna tighten her down, okay? And then this end, you see, it's just kinda hanging out there. That's gonna be your tag in, or your tie in. You're just gonna grab it, your tag in, and you're gonna pull. All right, but once it gets here, you're just gonna Push it up to the top, that way it's now being tightened down, and you're going to tighten it all down, guys. And that is how it looks. Now the problem with tying knots with fluorocarbon is because it is so stiff, it does make it a little bit hard to tie some knots. But this knot, even with fluorocarbon, guys, is going to hold 85 to 90 percent of its strength depending on how you tie it. If you tie it right, then you shouldn't have any kind of issues. All right, so next we're gonna be doing the weight, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do a bobber stopper knot, okay? So take this, I'm gonna put the weight on, because the bobber stopper knot is gonna go right above it. All right, now get another piece of of a um, line, right? And you put it right next to your main line, okay? Just like this. And you're gonna do just a nice overhead knot, right? Around your your main line. That's what you're gonna end up with. Now don't tighten it down because you need to now start to spin, spin your tag end here around your main line and your knot line. All right, so we're gonna spin that, and the more you spin it, the bigger the knot's gonna be. So let's spin it around here four to five times. Let's go one, two, four carbon, work with me here. Three, four times, okay? So we got it four times. Now you want this tag in here, and Run this back through because it came loose. 
back through and you're going to grab both of the tag end and the both of the tag ends and then you're going to want to tighter down you guys are seeing in first hand why tying knots with four crumbing can be a pain I guess so here we go tie it down real good All right, and now this will slide up and down. It's gonna go down, and now all you gotta do is run this down to your weight and check it out. It's not gonna fall. And you can make that tighter, so let's see if we can here. Down there. All right, guys. Now, what's awesome about this line is you can tighten it up throughout the, the day. So when you cut it off, leave about a, about an inch, inch, half inch. Cut her off there. That should be good for right now. And you can continue to use this all day just by tightening it back down. Okay. All right, guys. So now that we have that tied on, there's that. Your weight's not going to go anywhere. And now we just got to tie on this whole one. We're going to tie this on by doing an improved clinch knot. Okay, so you're going to want to run it through. Okay, get a nice little some line here. You're going to want to spin your tag end around your main end eight or nine times. So three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now you're gonna to wanna to put it through your end here that you had, and you're gonna want that, like a little eight. Then you're gonna take your tag in, run it back through the little hole that you just made, and then tighten her down. And I apologize about the dogs outside, it's my neighbor's dogs, and they are obnoxious to say the least. So once you get that, you're just gonna tighten her down. And there you, there you have it, an improved clinch knot. All right, guys, so we have the swivel tied on with an improved clinch knot, the weight tied on with a bobber stopper knot, and then the hook tied on with a palmer knot. All right, now we're going to thread on the worm. So what you're going to do is go through the middle. About right there, you're going to want to poke her out. So bam, run it up there, and then twist her, okay? Just like that. And then you're going to want to put the hook in. Put the hook through. Just like that. Nope, oh, a little bit too far up there. There we go. Put the hook through. All right, and now what makes this weedless, guys, is do you see that hook sticking out? You're going to want to tuck that in to the worm, just ever so slightly. All right, guys, so there we go. You have a Texas rigged, four carbon leader line. All right, so there we go. Hey, guys, I hope you liked the video. I'm trying some new stuff with the lighting. I hope you, you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, smash that dislike button. Leave us a comment on what we can do better to improve the content. Um, I'm really excited about this weekend. We scattered, scouted it out yesterday. It was 101, so it was pretty hot, but it was like 12 o'clock, so it makes sense. We're going we're gonna to be going in the morning, and depending on how the morning treats us, we'll stay until 9 and then fish some more. Hopefully, we'll catch some monsters, guys. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are as well, and I will see you in the next one.